So it's summertime in the Philippines and we're all stuck in our houses. This video is for you. If I love you and you love me, let's plan to see what you grow. So yeah, like I said guys, we're going to learn a little bit about self-portraits today and obviously I'm gonna take pictures of myself. <laughs> and just a disclaimer, I'm in no way, shape, or form a model, which is even better because that means you can also do it. We're gonna do four sets. I'll be giving out tips for every set. And about the film stocks, there's a little catch. We're shooting with film stocks. Like a lot of you guys, I don't have my developing tools with me right now, and there's no way I can get a hold of them at this moment. The point of the shoot is to learn about self portraits. But also, I want to keep with the essence of film. So for every set, there will be a designated style of edit. For the first set, it's going to look like a warm negative. For the second one, it's going to look like a slide film, kind of. And the third one will be black and white. And the fourth one, another negative. So because a lot of you guys, just like myself, apart from the mechanics of shooting and all that, the process, we also really like the look. So we're gonna stick to that until we can get our equipment to develop or find means to do so. So let's just jump into it. So for the first set, the tip is to always recognize the relationship between the subject and the background. So the background is always, always very important. And in this case, I look for a background before I try to make sense of the subject and a lot of times you can do it the other way around but also we're in quarantine so I don't really have a lot of choice for the background so I just chose this very neutral mundane background here for the first set which brings us to tip number two um, how do you connect the relationship of the subject and the background plant some elements for yourself so that could be putting props for the background or on the subject which in this case because i chose a very mundane background i thought i would wear something that would pop out and as you play around with that like since you are the subject as well you feel your background and see how you can communicate with it and you can you start being creative be natural with it and spontaneous with it so that you don't look stiff or meaningless very important before we start the video angles that's actually the biggest challenge here for many of us we're not really models and we're the ones holding the camera and now we can't always be mobile so placement of the camera and i'll show you i made so many crazy dumb looking makeshift tripods the most important tip i can give you with setting up your camera is to really pay attention to the background it's like just taking a picture of a background and if it looks good to you without anything else usually, then that's an easy place to play with. You can put yourself almost anywhere in that frame and you'd be good. In some cases, if you get better at, you know, looking for places to shoot at, you'll find that some aren't really good as is on their own. And that's gonna happen because the subject completes the picture. And yeah, that's where you come in and self-portrait starting in three, two, one. So for that set, we tried to pop out of the neutrality. In this set, we're going to try to pop in. Is that a thing? I don't know. So I'm wearing yellow and red pants. And you might ask, how is that blending in if you're wearing red pants and a yellow shirt? The sun at the moment is making things a little orange. I'm using a color palette of orange to yellow to red. 
and I think it's gonna have a fun effect. Tip number two for this set. How do you add a story or an element that would make the picture complete? And my answer to that is movement. Pose, be goofy, or use your camera like with long exposure, right? Create blurs. Use your character, let it out. Like if you have a background in dance, even better, uh, ballet or martial arts. Even if you're actually like physically uncoordinated or you have two left feet, like uh, use that. It doesn't matter if you're awkward because it's all about individuality and letting it out. So second set in three, two. <laughs> Dancing to our own drum In the very last song Maybe now we found our own one The same old song that is still I'm ready to explore in this magical bliss that is you and desire So let's not waste our time Wanna see what you grow into a tree, baby Why don't we grow some nectarines, baby Why don't we grow a little, baby If I love you and you love me Let's wanna see what you grow into a tree, baby Why don't we grow some nectarines, baby Zombie grow a little going to be the black and white set and the tip here is to understand tones because now you can't see color and this is a general black and white shooting tip it'll train your mind and the shadows you get to pay more attention because these are the things that you really need right now because you can't use the colors to really build your elements and so to emphasize on that I'm going to be using shirts with squiggly shapes or interesting shapes and lines such as this one and I'm going to play with these and use that this time with the lack of color to build character into the frames. So yeah, again, this time all you got to pay attention is the tones, the shapes, the shadows, all right? start with the last set um, I'm probably gonna end the video right after I just want to say thank you make sure to comment subscribe and like the video if you liked it and comment down below if you want more of this because I'm looking to do like with portraits using more tools if you guys are interested in that and more close-up pictures to really see difference in light uh, situations also if you've seen the mundane video or boring video shoot challenge whatever we can do that again now and now in depth uh, talking about like different times in a day where you can use the sunlight to your advantage and it's not only the golden rule that you need to watch out for every time of the day you can use the sunlight to portray with whatever vibe so in this last set the only tip is keep safe and I'm really hoping for the best for all of you guys and I hope we all try to make it better for one another. Peace. Okay, let's do it boy. To explore in this magical bliss that is you and desire So let's not waste our time Wanna see what you grow into a tree, baby? 
Why don't we grow some nectarines, baby? Why don't we grow a little, baby? If I love you and you love me, let's plant a seed. Watch it grow into a tree, baby. Why don't we grow some? Hey, hey, hey! If you want your pictures to be featured like these ones in our feature picture segment, well, head over to Instagram, follow us, tag us in your pictures, and we'll see you in the next videos, freaks. I mean, like beautiful freaks, though not like not in a not in a bad way. <laughs>